Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be making some buffalo chicken wings in my air fryer for the first time. So this is a Vortex Plus recipe. Um, I don't have a Vortex Plus, but uh, I'm going to use this and it calls for Rice Krispies. Yes, Rice Krispie cereal. I have two cups about um, crushed in this bag. Then uh, two egg whites, some olive oil, salt, garlic powder, paprika, oil to spray, and buffalo chicken sauce. So let's get started. First, I'm going to mix in about, oh, and don't forget the chicken. <laughs> That's over there. So first, I'm going to mix in one tablespoon into the egg whites of olive oil. All right. And then I'm going to put the seasoning in the Rice Krispies. So I've already crushed these up. This is a half teaspoon. You're going to need a half teaspoon of each so a half teaspoon of salt all right that's in then garlic powder half a teaspoon i like to go in order of darkness of the seasonings so i don't get the spoon all dirty All right, then I'm going to shake that up. Try to get the air out. Okay, now let me get the chicken. Okay, so now you're gonna dredge your chicken into the egg wash and then into the uh, Rice crispy mixture, and I have my pans ready. I'm going to spray them and be right back. Okay, so I got my pans sprayed, and I'm going to begin the dredge. And I forgot to tell you about the three tablespoons of butter, also, that you're going to add with the buffalo sauce to make the mixture for the end coating. All right, so. I'm going to do a couple of these on camera and then I will shut it off and do the rest so I don't bore you. <laughs> I'm supposed to kind of try to squeeze the coating on so it sticks on. So I had to mix up some more of the dredge with the Rice Krispies and because uh, the recipe called for one pound of chicken but I had more than that so I didn't think about that but um, if you have more than one pound you're going to need more than two cups of Rice Krispies. So I've got my third tray and putting it in the air fryer for 380 degrees for 10 minutes to take them out, change the trays, and flip them over. So I'll keep an eye on it, and at the five minute mark, I will take them out and flip them over and change them around. My first time, guys. So. So 
guys, the uh, sauce to put over it is really simple. They just call for three tablespoons of the um, butter and four tablespoons of the buffalo sauce. And of course you can adjust that if you like it hotter, leave some of the butter out or put more of the hot sauce and vice versa. So pour those and since I had so much chicken, I have a feeling I'm going to need more. But that has one minute. Should be beeping any second. I'll bring it back when it's done. It was actually supposed to have been 10 minutes, flip them over in five minutes, but I did 10 minutes and 10 minutes more because I'd rather them be a little burnt than me get salmonella. So, put this on. You're supposed to dredge them all, but I just want a little bit. And let's taste. Pretty good, but spicy, so I'm a bigger fan of the oven, to be honest, but if you'd like to try, I'll leave the recipe in the description. God bless. Bye.